Repairing and updating molds is one of the services provided by Quality Mold in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Here, machine operator Keith Hoover operates a decal pantograph mill to remachine the mold in the foreground, matching it to the one being traced in the background. Glassmaker Chromaglass Incorporated in Delmont, Pennsylvania, will use the mold to form a lens for an aircraft wing light. Quality Mold Programmer Eric Rhodes creates a mold around an electronic 3D model in the shop's CAD CAM system. A highly detailed plunger that will be used to press a glass headlight lens being milled at Quality Mold. An in-canal mold for a headlight lens is machined at Quality Mold. To permit a complex glass part to release from the mold, it's often necessary to make the mold in sections that move apart and provide clearance. At Quality Mold, Rob Tempo polishes a 24-inch diameter plunger that will be used to press a large lens for a theatrical lighting application. This highly detailed plunger, milled from Inconel, is used to press a replacement automotive headlight lens like the one shown here. Among the smaller molds made at Quality Molds is this stainless steel spin mold, half of a two-part device that produces a complex four-inch long light bulb. This stainless steel mold began as a plaster cast at Quality Mold. DJ Danko, president of Quality Mold, examines a glass lens for an aircraft landing light that was formed in a pressed glass mold at Quality Mold. To expand its customer base, Quality Mold recently began handling overflow from another shop. Here, Bill Rhodes works on a steel axle plate. At Chromaglass Incorporated, presser Art Thays and gatherer Ernie Ryan work together to mold an aircraft lighting lens. At Chromaglass, Bill Taylor inspects a highly contoured pressed glass lens. Bob Hummy and Walt Grebner press an architectural light cover at Cop Glass. Presser Dave Sherwood and gatherer Chuck Smith mold an aircraft light lens at Cop Glass. Inspector Randy Frank checks a complex glass lens after it was pressed at Cop Glass. At Cop Glass, lenses cool in a tunnel like machine called a Lear that reduces their temperature gradually and relieves internal stresses in the parts. Although a disappearing art, hand carving of mold masters is still a valuable skill. Quality Molds Barry Beveridge shows how a 3D master is carved from a plaster blank.